now let us understand one more complex design which is fifo okay so what is fifo fifo is fifo usually buffer is a special kind of design which is basically first in first out data is written inside the fifo which data is written first comes out of from the fifo first so this is written then this is which this got had would have been written first so this comes out first this would have been written second this came out second this would have been written third this comes out second you this is one way of linear way of looking fifo typically basically fifos are designed kind of circular kind of pointer so you increase the pointer and then basically uh, kind of once it reaches the maximum value then it automatically goes to zero so now for fifo there are let's say you have a fifo okay fifo will typically have a ram where you will read or write data and then basically you will have pointer pointing to where the data, next data should be written okay so there are two pointers read underscore pointer and write underscore pointer read pointers decide where from where you are going to read data write next data and write pointer decides where you are going to write next data so read pointer decides where you are going to read next data write pointer decides where you are going to write next data so initially when fifo nothing has been written in the fifo fifo is empty so that means both read pointer and write pointer is zero so whenever read pointer is equal to write pointer typically that will happen either when fifo is empty or fifo is full i'll show you how it can mean full also okay so let's start first with the case where read pointer is equal to write write pointer at zero and fifo is empty okay now you give a write okay you tell the tool uh, you tell the fifo that i am going to do a write so what will happen is this address zero because write pointer was here so that means write will be done on this address so this is now full filled this value is filled and write pointer moves to next why it moves to next because now write pointer is pointing to the point where data will be written next and read pointer is pointing to a point where read will be written next now you do th let's say three more writes so what will happen then is your write pointer was at one here so you this got written this got written this got written so write pointer moves here because this is where next write will happen but the read pointer is still here because nothing has been read so far okay now you say there is a read operation okay so what happens is read pointer is pointing to the point uh, the address where you have to do a read so read pointer will come here so now basically you will read data zero give it to the output and read pointer will move to the next one address because this is the next point from where reading will be done okay now let's say you do a four more write okay so you are here you did a write 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 here so now right pointer has moved to here because this is where next write will be done okay now let's say if you do one more write what will happen is this will also be written and you will reach here where both read pointer and write pointer are equal okay but this the situation is fifo is full because you have written every location in the memory so there there was a situation when read pointer was equal to write pointer but the fifo is empty here read pointer is equal to write pointer but fifo is full now how to differentiate between those two conditions okay the way to differentiate between those two condition is basically if you notice here here read pointer become equal to write pointer but it went all the way circular and then it reached here okay now what is typically done to have that situation that we add an extra bit to the fifo pointers okay so let's say you have 00 two bit pointers that means or in this case 
we have three bit pointers. Okay, that means address will increase 0, 0, 001, 0, 010, 0, and it will keep increasing and it will reach final value of 111. Now, after it reaches, and let's say we are only doing write, we are not doing read, any read. After it reaches that stage, next, if you add one, there will be carry of one and all will become zero. Okay. And this is where the read pointer was 000. zero, zero. But if we add an extra bit, you will notice that extra bit will become one. So this way you can figure out basically that if extra bit has become one, you know you have completed the full circle. And that means it's not. So if you add an extra bit and compare that, then you can figure out whether FIFO is full or FIFO is empty. And this is the typical method which is used. Now, when FIFO becomes full, you cannot write anymore. You can only read from the FIFO. So till you get empty spaces, you can only read. So let's say now FIFO does two reads. Okay, so read pointer was here. So this got read, this got read. Now the read pointer will move here. Now let's say you do five more reads. So this got read, this got read, this got read, this got read, this got read. Then the read pointer will move here. Okay. Now basically, let's say you do one more read, then it will reach here. Read pointer will become each equal to the right pointer. But it has not crossed the right pointer. So you basically extra bit will indicate you, uh, show you that it has not crossed. Your extra bit is equal. Extra bit is uh, basically not equal. Then it has it is still empty. So basically adding an extra bit allows you to figure out whether FIFO is full or empty. If extra bits are equal, that means uh, it's empty. If they're not equal, that means it's full. So now let us write the VHDL code for this. Okay. So in each we will have clock, we will have write, read, full, empty, write address, read address. So this is our entity uh, definition. Now, first let us start with initial conditions that initially we'll have two pointers, write pointer and read pointer. Initially, we will set both to zero. And then basically, whenever clock comes, we'll assign it to the next value. Okay. Now, what is the way to assign next value? Okay. So right pointer will increase as we had seen. Right pointer will increase when right is one and basically it's not full because when if it's full, you're not going to write anything. So basically, right pointer will become right pointer plus one. Next will it be right pointer plus one when right is equal to one and full is zero. Otherwise, you will keep it at the same value. And how do you figure out it's full? It's basically when the top bit and an extra bit is are not equal and the lower bits are equal. We added an extra bit. So you will figure out full when the topmost bits are not equal. This is not equal in VHDL and rest of the lower bits are equal. Otherwise, full is zero. Now, write address. Basically, you will just take it input uh, the write address. Okay. Now, how do you increase read pointer? Read pointer will become next when read is equal to one, but you don't want to increase the read pointer when it's empty because there is nothing to be read. So basically, when read is one and empty is zero, you will increase read pointer by one. How do you figure out empty? When read pointer is equal to write pointer, then these are empty. But so basically, if with an extra bit, this is your read pointer. When they both are equal, read pointer and write, write, write pointer, then it is basically empty. But if you want to detect full, how will you detect this? Except for highest bit, these are not equal. But the lower bits are equal. That means it's full. When will the highest bit will not be equal? When one pointer has crossed while the other pointer has not crossed. Then only it the highest bit will not be equal. So that means it's full. So this is how you can design a FIFO. As you've seen, we have start slowly built up to design even the complex logics. Try to design this FIFO 
offline and see whether you are able to get the required behavior or not. 